What in the hell is going on here, man? What in the, like, are you kidding me? All right, man, another day, another toy hunt going to Target here this morning. And honestly, I'm not looking for anything at Target, so I don't even know why the hell I'm coming here, but it's, you know, one of three stores that I hit, so we're gonna go in here and make the most of it, I guess, but we'll see what comes of it, man. But we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit two Walmarts and this Target and find out if we can find some stuff, man. But join me on my adventure and let's find out if we can find some stuff. All right, fellas, here we go. My God in heaven, why do we even try, man? Elite 107 Otis, I mean, it's new, but you know, not much else. Ultimate Legends Warrior, another Warrior, Trish Stratus, that's beat up, and then Thunder Rosa. And then Giant Uno, that's already opened. Damn, it's heavier than I thought it was. Wrecking Monster Truck, Boneyard Slam Cycle. Look, he kind of want to purchase that and review it, but we'll see. My God, man. Target been dry lately. On this side, we got, okay, we got the steel cage, but this has been out for a while, so. I mean, that's it, man. How trash. I haven't seen that in person either. That's cool. Yeah, Target been lacking, man. I don't think we, we have anything here today. So we may be on to the next location real quick, like. All right, yeah, waste of time, to be honest. I might grab a coffee, though. Ah, another day, another 6 a.m. toy hunt, man. Let's, uh, we haven't done this in a while, though. So I'm excited. Let's get in here and find out. All right, man, here we go. They're blaring music this morning. It also looks like everything's cleared out. Like, I feel like there's missing a lot of stuff right now. But let's find out. What in the hell is going on here, man? What in the, like, are you kidding me? So Brock Lesnar has escaped from his packaging like Major Chip Hazard. And uh, I'm sure they buried that. They, they always like, dude, look, what in the hell is this? Dude, you've got to be kidding me. So apparently we have a bunch of menaces of society coming in here and wrecking havoc, but it looks like it's all the same stuff, man. I mean, these Biancas have been here a while. Uh, the last few toy hunts we came here, there was like 25 of these Brock Lesnar's. Um, it looks like a bunch of them have sold though, or at least they've been moved. I don't know if they went to clearance or what, but there was a lot more elites here. Maybe WrestleMania kind of, you know, everybody got excited because there was a ton of rock figures too. So maybe that's what it was. You know, WrestleMania got everybody hyped up and, you know, an influx of people came in here and cleared everything out. But Eddie Kingston still in full force. They do have a lot of Eddie King. Oh my God in heaven. Did not expect to see this, man. Maya Villa Legacy 3 pack. We have The Rock, we have High Chief Peter Maya Villa, and we have Rocky Johnson. That is a beautiful pack. It feels like yesterday they revealed this at Comic Con, so now to see this in person is amazing. It's my first time seeing that in person, and it looks like they only have two of them, so definitely gonna be grabbing one of these. I don't even know the retail price on this though. Uh, I don't see a tag for it, but they have no ultimates. They barely have any elites. I mean, they really only have one, so they really don't have elites. They have one elite figure, but they do have the Maya Villa Legacy pack though, which is really beautiful. I'm really excited for this rock figure in the, you know, the casual shorts and he has loafers on. And then this Rocky Johnson has the new boot mold on. And I love this shirt and stuff. So I'm very hyped to, to find this. Definitely gonna be picking this up, doing a review on the channel. So I'm hyped for that. And then down here, it looks like it's a bunch of Eddie Kingston's. These guys have been here a while. Uh, random tennis ball decisions were made, but I cannot get over this, man. Look at this. Brock Lesnar, just out of the packaging, man. Insane. And then we got damn, I forget the name of those, but Buzz Balls, Chillers, my God. Well, besides that, we have Tamina, Tamina, and Zia Lee. We have a couple Biancas. We have the Alexa Bliss Charlotte Flair 2-pack. And then we have some superstars. Bray Wyatt, Earthquake, Hot Rod, Rick Rude, Earthquake, Roddy Piper, Bam Bam, which is one I still need to grab. It looks like Mr. Perfect is gone last time I was here. But it's been a minute. It's been, I want to say, two or three weeks since we went on a toy hunt, man. So kind of looks like they've cleared out some of the stuff. But definitely grabbing one of these. I don't know if I want to pick up the other one. But I'm sure it'll probably be gone. Because usually when I upload toy hunts, people come in and they... They buy it out but i guess i guess this guy's free i don't know i call this sleepy head brock lesnar he just looks like he just woke up from a nap one of those naps where you wake up and you feel like you don't even know where the hell you are that's what that is the only evidence is this plastic casing right here there's no even packaging or anything what the hell is this now charging case my god man just ripping things out of the packaging 
just so ra it's always so random you, you have no idea what you're gonna find on this aisle and then look at this packaging it's like all taped up and beat to hell so i don't believe this store ever got the shipper the wrestlemania shipper but i think that's what happened man i think people watched wrestlemania got got hyped and then came out here and cleared out some of the figures especially all those rock figures that there were but definitely gonna be snagging one of these i don't know if i want two of them though i don't think i need two of them right now i think i'm gonna leave the second one we'll open this review this one and then the other one will be here for whoever wants it so there's the second my via legacy pack but i don't know if i'm gonna go to another store i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna venture around and probably just grab the three pack and get the hell out all right man sun has came up we're at location number two second walmart it's very early but you got to get the toy hunts in early man that's the best time to come i think at least for me because the shelves are empty or not the shelves are empty that'd be terrible but the halls are empty the aisles are empty you don't have to worry about people bothering you but if so if you can go early man go early go every time but let's find out what we got here we okay, guys here we go let's find out what we have we're on the look for the monday night wars anything really series two or the ultimates but we got oh snap we got giovanni vinci here pretty cool first time seeing this i don't should i grab this i mean i know we have the elite two pack coming but when the hell is that you know i already have ludwig kaiser but definitely like finding giovanni we also have kevin owens here and to be honest the basic may be better than the ultimate from what i've seen on the reviews hopefully mine will arrive soon okay we have two giovannis We've got a top picks roman i have like 88 of that basic I have another giovanni so that's pretty cool i don't remember who the chase is is it becky lynch i don't remember i think it's the becky lynch but or maybe it's Shayna Baszler. There is a Shayna Baszler there, right there. I haven't seen the new figure from her in a minute. Or is Becky? No, that's a different basic series. You dumb idiot. All right, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens. These have been here for God knows how long. Every toy hunt on the channel dating back to like, I don't know, 400 BC probably has that toy, that two pack. We have Nyla Rose. They were selling these John Cena's at WrestleMania for like $30, man. It was ridiculous. We have Elite 105 Yo Sky. Just, just put that anywhere, Brad. Just put that anywhere. We have a few EOs. We have Trish, Scott Steiner, and Trish. I've noticed that Scott Steiner, I've seen a lot of him, so kind of shelf warming a little bit. I don't know what's up with that, but another top picks or another Roman Reigns basic. And then we have the same Alexa Bliss Ultimates that have been here for quite a minute, man. I mean, these figures are going for like $5 on Amazon. They're going for $5 on Ringside. So the, the Alexa Bliss Ultimate, you can get pretty cheap. So I'm definitely not going to be paying retail price for this. I mean, I probably wouldn't even grab it at, it's a really good figure, honestly, like a really good representation of her with the interchangeable and it's like a three in one. So if you need an extra copy, you can get it for cheap, you know, to make those different looks, but I don't need another Alexa Bliss at this juncture, but I think I'm going to grab the Giovanni, even though the head sculpt's dreadful. Looks nothing. Like, look at that right there. Look at him there, and then look at him there. They did my man dirty right there, man. Kind of a handsome dude, and they just kind of butchered him. Hate to see it. I think these eyes are printed better, but uh, he's got a little schmutz on his head, but I could easily fix that. But he looks really sleepy here. I don't know. Could just grab both and screw it. We do have two Hot Rod Roddy Pipers, and then we have a Hogan and a Mr. Perfect Superstars figure. Love those figures, even though I'm so sporadic on them. Say it every time, but that's kind of it, man. No Monday Night Wars, nothing. No Monday Night Wars, anything up in here. What do we got up here? Another KO. Then we got something else. We got... Oh, we got Bret Hart. Or is Bret Hart a chase? Look at this head sculpt. Looking like damn George Washington or something. They can never get Bret Hart right, man. Another basic. What is this? What we got? Oh, another KO. Love KO. Solid head sculpt. Decent little fade in there, too. If this had open elbow pads, I might would buy it. Not going to lie to you. But, yeah, man, I think that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think I'm going to buy the Vinci's, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to do it, unfortunately, for my wallet. I think we're going to do that. But no Monday Night Wars, nothing. God. Not a toy hunt without dropping the shish on the aisle. Anyway, I feel like the toy aisles are cleared out, man. A lot of stuff's missing. Last time I came toy hunting, there was um, a lot more on the pegs, it seems. Got the Infinity Saga figures, Spider-Man, whatnot, and then uh, random John Cena. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out. All right, guys, back home after the toy hunt, and it was a successful one, man. Return to toy hunt form here. Of course, we did grab the Maya Via WWE Generations Maya Via Legacy Pack featuring The Rock, Peter Maya Via, and Rocky Johnson. Very excited to see this. I remember this being revealed at Comic-Con last year, and it's kind of crazy. Comic-Con's maybe a few months away now. I think it's three or four months away, and it seems like it was just yesterday that we saw this, this pack revealed, and this Rock figure was one of my favorite reveals from the entire Comic-Con event, so... Very excited to add this to the collection. Of course, we already have, you know, a pretty big 
rock figure selection over here, but I'm glad to have this one in the loafers. He's got the watch in there. He's got the khaki shorts. He's got this nice shirt in there. Very intrigued for this one. Very excited for this one again. First time in the line, Peter Maivia here. And then we do have Rocky Johnson, which I never originally grabbed in the collector's edition. I think it was Elite 80 or something like that. So excited to add this pack. Definitely going to review this here on the channel. And then the other thing that we got was the two Giovanni Vinci figures here. And again, man, I mean, I, I bought both of them. So both of them are kind of you know, the head sculpts on these aren't that that good, but again, we do have that Mattel Creations Elite 2 pack coming that's pretty exciting. But uh, yeah, they had the full wave there, only picked up Giovanni, but now we have our Giovanni to go with our Gunther Elite 102, of course, and it'll also go with our two Kaiser figures. So we did grab these on the toy hunt, I think, as well. So we do have our two versions here. You have the regular edition, and then we do have the Chase variant in the red, both of which are pretty good, you know. They remind me of my man Fig Heel, and they also remind me of... The Terminator 2 cop is what it looks like to me. I can't remember the actor's name off the top of the dome, but we have these two. And I can't remember who the chase was in that set, these basic figures right here. I Like Becky Lynch, I don't even think is in that set. So I don't know what the hell I was talking about. Maybe it was Shayna. I want maybe, I don't, I don't remember. Or was it Giovanni? I can't remember off the top of the dome, of course. But that was the things that we picked up on the toy hunt. But before we get out of here, I want to showcase a few other things here. So this is a figure that I never featured in a video. And I wanted to make sure I documented it on the channel. Because I never put this in a video. Because this was a whatnot exclusive custom. And it is McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley. And so what I did was take the Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley. And I remember when I reviewed that figure, I said that I wanted to make a McDonald's attire or McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley. And so I have this custom shirt made by Elite Threads. It's got the, uh, like I mocked up this entire jersey, sent it over to him. He made it completely beautiful. I think he's from the UK. So I mocked up these graphics for the jersey. And then I did have these custom decals made. It's got Bobby Lashley with the McDonald's logo. And on the other side, it says the Almighty. And then the M is the McDonald's logo. And then on the butt, it does say... Mick Lashley. So it's got all the different bells and whistles on it. So I made a legitimate McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley figure, and I did sell this on our WhatNot stream. So anytime I plug a WhatNot stream, man, you want to get in there because there's always never-before-seen mystery items, customs, one-of-one -one things that aren't even featured on the channel. But now that it's been revealed, I did want to make a video on it and at least plug it at the end of the video here. So we do have McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley. I think we have a couple other customs. Let me look real quick. On my last stream or my last whatnot, I also made this custom Joker Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition. So he has the green hair. He's got the face paint, all the different bells and whistles. He's got the purple shirt in there. And he also has the black towel, but it's not plugged in yet. But yeah, we did also make this Joker clown style Jeff Hardy. And then another custom we made was this Judgment Day 2005 John Cena, that is a bloody mess, kind of a blood and guts John Cena with the two versions of the WWE Championship where he took on JBL. I think it was an I quit match and he was a bloody mess at the end. He held up both championships. So made this as well. And this was also sold on whatnot and it came with both belts and we did replace it. It's an ultimate edition, all those things, but definitely wanted to plug this here at the end, man. So just to give you guys kind of a, an appetizer to what you could expect out of those whatnot streams. If you guys have missed those, these are some of the things that you will be able to purchase over there. So these are always fun to do. But I do believe that pretty much wraps up our video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching the Toy Hunt video. If you guys missed our figure draft with Brody yesterday, definitely go check that out on the channel. That was a ton of fun to film and make. And those guys and his entire family were absolutely amazing. So I appreciate them so very much, man. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate all you fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. Tons of reviews coming this week, man. Lots and lots of figures to review. So that should be fun, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.